hi welcome now i am going to show you how to reconcile two list using pivot table okay so what we i have here is the customer and uh, their outstanding amounts okay and uh, i also have another list uh, customer and payments okay but uh, in first list you can see the outstanding list the amounts list the customer 2 is missing okay so in the second list it is there okay similarly for the second list the customer 8 is missing but in the first list it is there so each list have some missing customers and also the first list you can see customer 3 has uh, two outstanding transactions okay and uh, similarly for uh, customer uh, payments list you also find uh, customer 13 has uh, two payment uh, transactions okay so this way both the list are not master list this one has some records it doesn't have that also it has some records it doesn't have that similarly there is a repetition of the records okay this is also having the repetition so i uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use the pivot table to to uh, i'm going to use the pivot table method to connect these two list and uh, reconcile okay so how can i do that before we po pass on to pivot table we need to do few things first one defining a name for this range okay so this table i say outstanding table customer outstanding or uh, i say outstanding okay this name i define for this second one i am going to define a payment so how to do that uh, select all the records all the rec records in the payments list define name right click and define name payments okay press ok now what i want to connect these two tables you must have some master table okay otherwise how can you connect because you want the master list of customers because we are going to work out on the customers so how can we do that we want uh, this copy the first list i put it here full list of customers then i also copy the second one okay only the customer ids copy sorry it's copy then i put it down here okay the second list of customers then what i'm going to do is that i select the full uh, column and uh, i select the column g go to data then uh, remove the duplicates data data tab you got a data tools there you have option to remove duplicates i remove it okay so i press uh, uh, remove duplicates then uh, i must check the data header because i have the header customer then it shows the column from which column you want to remove the uh, duplicates is in the g column now it is customer because we have a header press ok then it says uh, 12 duplicate values uh, found and removed 14 unique values remain okay so this is our full list of master list of customer this are uh, the master list of customer id so i am going to name this one also as customer okay so now i'm i'm set to do the pivot tables okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the first one and uh, insert a pivot table okay this table as uh, select a uh, select a table or range which is i already selected the range okay that range is nothing but i will give the name i already given outstanding okay outstanding and uh, i want the pivot table to be on the new worksheet okay 
so I press ok before I press ok I must check add this data to data model because I want to keep this data in a data model then only I can connect ok the pivot tables so I just put uh, check this one add this data to data model ok you can see here choose whether you want to analyze multiple tables yes I want to analyze multiple tables now so I add this data to data model press ok so what happened is that it created a new sheet with the uh, pivot table pan where I can select the data okay either customer and outstanding amount okay I can see okay so this is the pivot table for outstanding right so but uh, what uh, our objective is not a single table our objective is a multiple table so I already have one so I want to get this one okay insert pivot table then uh, this one is uh, the range is payments I already defined the range payments where to okay choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed okay it's in the new worksheet okay and add this one also to the data model because I want to analyze multiple tables okay press ok again this one also created a new worksheet with the data models okay in the pivot table okay for the payments okay so we have a pivot table for outstanding pivot table for payments now finally I want to do the master list this is the customer okay I want to create a right click then pivot table and uh, where the range is customer the name which I already defined okay then choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed I want to place it in the new worksheet and add this data to data model so all these three tables I am adding to data model okay okay this is the customer and uh, this one got only one only one list which is the master list of customers okay now our we got uh, three pivot tables okay and uh, we want but our objective is not three different pivot tables we want uh, only one pivot table with uh, to reconcile both outstanding and payments okay how can I get the data of the other two pivot tables to this master list okay that one is we already added to the data model so both the pivot tables are existed existing here you can see active next to active in the pivot table span you can see all okay here you can see three pivot tables this is range because I last time I tried to experiment something so this is here so you no need to worry about this okay so you just uh, uh, ignore this one you can see customer outstanding and payments okay w both all three are there in the list so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring the customer which is already ca from the customer uh, master list I want to bring the outstanding amount from the outstanding okay once you bring the outstanding what happens is that uh, it shows only one value 7116 okay so it says relationship between tables may be needed okay the idea is you must uh, connect the tables using a particular column okay so the master list as the customer 
outstanding list also have the customer so you must connect it how to connect it create or you can auto detect instead i will show to you how to create manually create so you you have what is the master list that is the primary primary table okay and the table for in one is the outstanding table okay so primary table is master list and no customer id is missing and nothing is repeated but the foreign table it can repeat and some customers can be missing okay so your foreign table is nothing but outstanding and the column foreign column name is customer related table is actually customer table which is the master table primary key okay related column primary is the customer in the master table press ok once you press ok it already creating the relationship now it's showing proper values you see but you can see here customer 2 is missing because in your data customer 2 is not there in your list outstanding list and also for the customer 3 1496 which is nothing but addition of these two 1496 you can see in the status bar okay 738 758 okay now i am going to introduce the payments now how to introduce the payments i also bring the payments okay this also shows the same i must detect the relationship or create the relationship the table is the payments table foreign table is the payments table foreign key is the customer we are connecting both the tables by customer id okay similarly related table is the primary table is the customer table the master table and the primary key is the uh, primary column is the customer column because it has all the customer ids press ok so it also detected so now you can see this customer 2 payment is existing but the outstanding is not there okay for the customer 8 outstanding is there but uh, no payments customer 10 outstanding is there no payments customer 13 uh, payment is 475 which is nothing but uh, addition of these two payments uh, because it's a uh, multiple records uh, 57475 okay so this way you can find which uh, which all doesn't have the records in outstanding which all doesn't have the records in payments okay so okay now you can see here that uh, customer 2 is uh, uh, missing value but uh, the payment is there it's a peculiar case 461 and uh, you also have the customer 3 is added together two records okay the value for the outstanding and the payment is 717 you can see here that uh, there are some customers 5 is uh, paid totally and uh, the values are exactly the same 314 exactly the same 475 okay so now what you have is uh, you also have blank values here there is no payments for the uh c08 and uh, c10 and uh, 14 okay so this way you can start reconciling you can take this uh, table pivot table and uh, find out the difference and uh, you can say whether they paid uh, fully or not or partially paid or there is no payment at all and other stuff okay so uh, i hope uh, this video is helpful to you to reconcile the outstanding and payment amounts and how to connect to two different list in a single pivot table and reconcile okay i hope this video is helpful to you if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel and it is there already the allen sum button is already there in the screen and uh, god bless you